Hello, hockey player. Have you come to me seeking hockey wisdom? Ah, you do not want to be a bad hockey player. You want to be a very good hockey player. All right. Hey, it's Ed. Uh, all phone aside, I'm going to give to you today the first of my six favorite defensive techniques. Just to let you know, I play a little bit more defense myself because my league has a lot of offensive players who uh, want to play offense. So uh, I need to fill in most times on my team on defense. And I'll tell you a couple secrets about defense. Is uh, Number one, you get more ice time. And uh, number two, you get to take more slap shots. And, um, you know, it's just as fun as playing offense, in my opinion. So, you know, it's not bad. Anyways, so I'm coming at you today with my six, the first of my six favorite defensive techniques. Okay? The first one is quick pressure. You want to get on the guy with the buck quickly. Okay? Deny them the time and space. Those are the two big words you always hear. On offense, you're going to try to create the time and space. On defense, you're trying to deny time and space, okay? So quick pressure, of course, helps to deny time and space. You got that? Very good. Okay, so uh, also quick pressure really severely increases your chances of uh, disrupting the play, okay? So uh, why is this? Well, it's because very good players will when they receive a pass they'll become stable with that puck very quickly so you need to be on them quickly average players they need a you know half second or a second sometimes two seconds to get stable with the puck and if you can arrive in that space where they're unstable with the puck then you've got a much better chance of getting the puck off them or at least knocking the puck away and one of your other compadres can come get the puck All right. Poor players, of course, might never become stable with the puck. So, um, you know, with a poor player, you got a little bit more leeway, but still arriving quickly is the key to disrupting the play. All right? In any case, with any kind of player, you want to avoid taking the all-or-nothing swipe. And you've heard me say that before. And what I mean by that is, if the puck's sitting there and you think, boy, if I just, you know, lunge with all my effort, I can hit that puck and then I'll be on a breakaway. But what happens if the player's good enough to just pull that puck back a little bit or knock it to the side? If you've committed with your whole weight and momentum and you miss that puck, then they might be free to come down and you don't want that to happen. Okay, so you almost never want to do the all or nothing swipe at the puck. I mean, maybe the only time is if the puck's got behind the goalie and it's going to cross the goal line and you're going to dive at it and try to keep it out, out you know, from crossing the line. Uh, otherwise, you're just doing a really risky play. So you want to always keep your balance and not take those all or nothing swipes at the puck. All right, so quick pressures, number one. Good players are going to get stable quick. Average players need a second. Poor players might not get stable very quickly. But if you get there quick, you got a much better chance of getting the puck or knocking it free. All right. Look for number two in my six favorite defensive techniques coming shortly. See you later.